Hello everybody, this is Carol from Friendly Quail. This is day 11 of 12 Days of Pockets that we're doing today. Um, this is an idea that I, I got from Wendy. Um, I have to look it up. <laughs> Jour journaling, Wendy Journal, I don't know. I have to, I'll, I'll attach it. Um, and put a link to the video that she made of this it so that if you're interested in seeing the original one that I saw um, I you can look at that too but I did some tweaking and did some things a little bit differently um, this is how Wendy did it she made this what this is is an accordion pocket so this opens up like this and then you put stuff inside the pockets and then she put um, one of these tabs on here and dangled um, this to help keep it shut now it sort of works but not a lot but this one is made this size is made from a 12 by 12 piece of scrapbook paper uh, I thought that was a little long and so I, this one's made by 9 by 12. And I put a little tab on here so you can open it up and put stuff inside like this. And then you can close it by putting it in the tab. So this was also made from um, scrapbook paper. Okay. Um... This one is made from regular paper. It's some that I dyed with alcohol ink and that also you can put stuff in it and I put this tab on it to keep it shut. Now, these are kind of fat. I don't think I would glue these in and put another tag behind it because they are kind of thick once you put stuff in them. So I probably would use it as a pocket that you slide into another pocket or under a belly band or something like that. Okay, and then these are made with maps, map pages from, I have a book that's maps, they're all from the 1700s. And um, a lot of them have a map on both sides. I'll show you. It's like this. I'm going to make one out of that. And so you've got, you know, things in here. And you can put little, all kinds of little things in there. This one's not decorated at all. This one I put, a, made a snippet, and then I made a paper flower out of some of the leftover map. And these, because it's attached, actually work to keep it shut. Not like the one I did yesterday that it just still opened up. But that is, these are those picture, um, they, they're made to put on the back of picture frames to hold in the pictures. So this is um, made from a map, map, a regular book page. It's very heavy. Uh, and then this is made it isn't decorated, but this one was made from um, the Impressionist book that I was showing you yesterday, and or last time. And um, this one didn't have another picture on the back, but it was pretty on the front. And that one um, also, like I said, not decorated. These are, this is made from, from paper and, um, you always get the three. Ooh, let's see here. I don't have stuff all in here. You get the three accordions and I guess I put this in here thinking I might put that on it, but we'll see. Okay. And then I did some with papers that I 
work done with the jelly jelly plate and so the, my jelly plate is 8 by 10 so this is a little bit smaller but it's still it still worked um, pretty good and another one with the jelly plate so it's an accordion pocket and and then you can decorate it and put a closure on it like I did with these. So I'm going to put this aside and I'm going to start. This is one of my map pages. This is a huge book. Again, a tiny kind of coffee table type book. I'm open this up all the way. Okay. Now I am going to... I'm going to cut this off here because I know that I have to cut some off, but I want that on there. Uh, although this is what will show up on the page. All right. What I like to do is cut them down to 12 inches. Uh, let's see here. And then I need to cut that ripped part off. All right, took it out of the book. And then let's see, what do we have here? If I cut it at nine, I'm gonna get some white. So I'm gonna just cut it a little shorter. It'll just be a little bit shorter pocket. Oop, I gotta take a little more off of there. still didn't get it all all the white off okay so it's got map on both sides you can make the front back whatever you want temporarily put this away I'm gonna make one out of this also maybe I'll cut this one down too right away well this one I could do, I could do 9 or I could do 12. I kind of like the 9 size because you can only put really little things in anyway. So I'm going to cut this down to 9 by 12. And I'm going to use that. But I do, you know, I like the other one too. It's just that it's bigger. Okay. I think I'll start with one of these because it'll be easier for you to see what I'm doing. Now you can use a scoreboard for this. This is an 11 inch paper, eight and a half by 11. So um, if I divided, you, you, you want to have it in three parts one part has to be bigger than the other two. So let me think what I did with this. Three and a fourth would be seven and a half, eight and a half, nine and a half, ten and a half, and it's got a quarter inch. Okay. I'll do it at three and a quarter. We'll see. And then at seven and a half, Nope, that's three, six and a half. That would be, I didn't do this right. Should have been bigger. I'm going to end up having to cut a little off. So then if I had a half and three and a half and then a fourth, yeah, I could have made these a little bit bigger. I'm just going to put do a line here, kind of, and cut it off. What happens when I talk and I'm not always thinking. <laughs> if I would have done it like three and a half, then it would have been seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I could even have done it like three and five eighths. I should have wrote it down what I did before, but this will work. I'll just cut some of it off.
Okay. Now, what this is going to be folded in like this. I'll get rid of the scoreboard. And this will be folded over like this. And in fact, I'm going to cut a little bit more of that off. You only need a, uh, it to be about maybe a quarter inch, three eighths of an inch wider. Not very straight, but all right. Now I'm also going to mark where it's going to fold up, and I'm going to say. Um, if I fold this up about this much, and then I'm going to be folding this down, but not all the way, this would cover it up like this. So I'm just going to kind of like say this is what I'm going to do. And what I'm going to do is cut the corners out. So you can, if you've got this folded straight, just cut up to that fold line and then cut down to there. I'm cutting on that fold line and I'm going to cut even. So you have a piece that looks like this, okay? Fold this in and fold it back on itself like that. So I fold this in, fold it back on itself the edge. Now this is the longer one. I'm going to put that on the bottom so that this ends up being kind of in the middle, pretty much in the middle. And I'm going to run a line of glue until I didn't cut that very straight. I'm going to cut that a little bit before I Before I glue it. Wendy's Journal Adventures, that's what it's called. Okay, I'm going to run a line of glue down the edge right here and lay that one on top of it. Now that has to dry. I'm using our glitter glue so it dries pretty fast, but let me show you what it looks like from above. This is overlapped and I have glued it down and you want to make sure that you don't get glue and glue it shut to this bottom piece right here. Okay. Then you're going to fold it up on that line that you made. And these two pieces have to be glued together. So I'm going to run a line of glue down there and one down here. Like I said, make sure this other one is glued before you do it. And then I always make sure that this got glued together, but nothing leaked out and glued this piece to this or that. And then you let it dry. And there's your three pockets. And then I fold this one down. Now this is just paper. So on some of the other ones that I did, I took the paper that I cut off and I added it onto it. Get this out of the way. I added onto it to... Um, 
to reinforce it. You could add it on either side. I'm going to do, let's see, this would go down. This is the one that was a little bit bigger. So I'm going to put glue, make sure you get it all the way to the edges. Line it up. I liked this color better, so I put it on the inside. You can put it on the outside too if you want. Okay. And now I'll bend it on that same line that I gave you before. That it makes it a little stronger when it's just paper like this. Yesterday, I was working on something, and I had my glue sitting here, and my cat came up, and she likes glue. She always wants to lick it, and she pulled the pin out, and I was so afraid that she would swallow it or something that I said, Daisy! And, and then I scared her, and I like to round the corners. No, it might work better if I had waited till the stride, but it seems to be going okay. Okay, I like to round the corners. And that's one of your accordion pockets. So it doesn't take real long to do. Anyway, Daisy went bah, 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 with her feet, and she flew down, and I have paint on the table over here because I was working on another art project and um, <laughs> and all of the paint got thrown on the floor and then I still didn't know if she had had it in her mouth I found it later she hadn't she had dropped it but I went right <laughs> chasing her and uh, she hid under the bed oh my gosh so I cleaned everything up and I found it. Now this is 12 inches. So I'm going to do three and seven eighths. So I want the third part to be a little bit bigger. I usually use this one. It just it stays in line. The channel a little bit faster. Now three and seven eighths and three and seven eighths is seven and three fourths. So I'm going to make another line at seven and three fourths. And that gives me, this one is one, two, three, seven eighths, and I've got that extra quarter inch. Okay. Fold that on the line and open it up. I just want to get that nice and creased. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this. this one up oh somewhere what is this it's about one two three inches maybe get it straight you could score that line as well And then we cut out the corners. Now 
Now this is three inches, this is also three, but we don't have the flap be three inches because that way you have a space that you can add your, your ephemera in and it can stick out above the pocket. There we go. Okay. So I've got my piece like this. I'm gonna fix that a little bit. Kind of got that little tag hanging on there yet. Okay. Fold in one of the sides, fold it back on itself. and crease it fold this one this is the one that sticks out it's bigger fold it back on itself to the edge and then I like to put that one on the bottom the one that sticks out, put your line of glue. The way I have to leave my glue, I have to put it away out of where my cat can't get at it. She's done that, not the, with the pin, but she's done it where she licks on the top of the glue before. There's something about glue. She's a weird cat. Okay. Make sure that it's glued all the way down, but that you have a hole in here that you haven't glued those together. And you can let that um, dry. And like our glitter glue dries really fast. If, if you are using a different type of glue, you probably are gonna wanna wait before you do this step till it dries. Okay. And I'm going to burnish that. And then I'm going to fold this down. I'm leaving it probably about somewhere about two inches. I'm going to fold it down. And again, I could take this and put it on here to reinforce it or on here to reinforce it. And uh, you'd be round your corners or leave them like that. And I got to put the glue on here. Along the side. Along the side. The middle pocket then is always just slightly smaller. Because you've got the glue along the edge of the paper. Compared to the folds on the other ones. Okay. And there you go. Got your accordion pocket. And then you can decorate it or in add whatever you want. Okay. This is another one. I'll just do one more. This is the same thing. It's 9 by 12. I'm going to um, do it at three and seven eighths. If this is a 12 by 12, you use the same three and seven eighths. Seven and three fourths. And I could do, um, I'll do this bottom at, at uh, this was a little bit shorter, it wasn't nine. So I don't want to do three up, I'm going to do like two and three fourths maybe. Again, cut the corners out 
to be able to see my mark where my mark is. Now, if you want to distress the edges, this is the best point to do it for the most part. So I'll distress this one. have to still do the edges once you fold it in but it's easier to do to do this pan away I had a, I had the habit of putting this into a pin cushion whenever I took it out and I've kind of gotten out of the habit and that's really a good thing to do okay Distress this. or not I may as well do it <laughs> okay asthma and she got so upset yesterday she had an asthma attack and she was laying down by me when I was on my computer last night and she had her mouth open and she's breathing like <gasps> like that and oh my gosh I just my heart just breaks for her okay I feel so bad for her. We have her on steroids. That's all we can do. Well, you can buy an inhaler thing for cats, but it's really expensive and it's really hard to do it. Okay, so that's going to be the edge of one of the pockets. And this is going to be the edge and um, let's see when I fold this back okay I did do that because that that needs to be done too fold it back on itself fold this one in Fold it back on itself. This is a bigger one. I'm going to put it underneath. Run a line of glue. This is really kind of a fun pocket. That I get. Make sure it's not stuck, but that this is glued. Wait till it's dry. And then we'll fold that up. Let me get this one very well distressed. Okay, fold that up. Put that line of glue in here. I never heard of a cat having asthma until my cat got it. And they said it can be from scented litter. It could be all different kinds of things. 
that closet. Now this one, I wouldn't even bother reinforcing it because uh, at this top part, because this is kind of heavy paper and it's, it's not going to go anywhere. All right, so now I'm going to fold this down. And do the top. And there you go. Another accordion pocket. Oop, this one. I got something stuck together. There. It got stuck a little bit at the top. So just make sure these are nicely put together and you've got your three pockets. And there you go. And then you can decorate it. And I'll show you how I put on this. I'm not going to decorate the rest of it yet, but I'll show you how I do that. These are, they're called turn mounts. So, Put them on with the brad. And because the hole's not super big, you have to use a smaller size brad. So let's see what that one is. They're kind of little. It has to fit through the hole. And the big ones don't. So I usually try to match that. Now what I do is I lay this and you can measure, you can eyeball it. If I do this, this is about the middle because it's four inches wide. So this is the middle and I like it a little bit lower than this and then you can mark it. I think I will be able to get this in here. So now I've got a dot where I want to put that on. I just use my awl to poke a hole. So I go where that dot is and I just poke a hole. Just make sure it's big enough for this to get through. Ooh, it's magnetized. Then I put the ends of the brad through the hole. Oop, I didn't get it, get both of them through. They split apart. Okay. And go on the inside and open up your brad. Make sure that you can still turn it and then it will go over here. Now I could have it a little bit tighter. Now because you've got those two brad ends in there, I usually will put something over it. So you can just cut yourself a little thing or you can pop out a little circle or something like that. I'm just gonna cut a little square that will go over that and put glue on it and then I'll cover the brad so that it doesn't uh, interfere with the stuff you put in your pocket and it also anchors it really well. I'm going in here and I'm just going to put that over the brad and press it down so that it gets glued on really good. I don't know if you can see that. It's 
right in here. And that's how you do one of these. Okay. Now, as far as the um, the other one, I just I just put it, lay it over it, and then I just put some glue on the bottom so that the top is loose, and I can I can get those in there. So that's it. Got one more day of pockets. Uh, I'm gonna be doing something fun for that one. And then we'll get on with some other other tutorials. I think I'm going to do my circus journal. I'll make the cover and do everything start to finish. And I'll show you the last day at all of the different pockets that I made for this one I could put sideways because the way that is or you could put it like this you could put it like this or like this so these are the accordion pockets and there we go so thanks for being with me today I appreciate all of you who are subscribed and if you're new welcome and I hope you'll consider subscribing I used to be a teacher and I love teaching I don't do this for the money. I just, you know, I I don't care that I I don't get, a, I don't have tons and tons of subscribers. Um, I'd like more, of course, but I I don't do it to try to make money. So I and I don't think I'll ever be one of those really big viral ones. I'm not silly enough, I guess sometimes. Um, but I really do enjoy doing tutorials, and so that's. That's why I do them. So thanks for being with me. And I will see you in the next time for Pocket 12. Can you believe it? Okay, this is Carol from Friendly Quail saying bye.